and Corelli's on the outside of Butch Miller, Butch Miller, and he makes the pass. Butch is just not able to get that Rebessis truck hooked up tonight at all. Remember, Corelli was good enough to go all the way to the front, albeit by a bit of good fortune. Everybody spun out in front of him, and he sneaked through, but he'd come from 17th starting spot to run an honest fourth. So that's a good truck, and he's still got a lot of time. There'll be a lot more yellow, I would predict, so Corelli could still be a factor to be reckoned with here. To finish the Bliss story, he'll run two more open-wheel races this year, including the uh, Silver Crown race coming up in Richmond. And while we speak of Richmond International Raceway, remember, a lot of these top trucks are going to be there Monday and Tuesday next week for an open testing session, and it's open at every sense of the word. It'll be open to you fans want to go and watch for free. Rutman works on TJ. It's the best battle on the racetrack. Rutman ran him down a long way back. It's a battle for second place, and as they battle, they might be gaining on Mike Skinner, the leader. Yep, do that bump draft thing. Hit him, push him along, make him go a little faster. Rutman and TJ, a couple of West Coast stars. Let's go to uh, Marty Reed. Find out. Oh, oh, trouble, got trouble. Mike Bliss, Bliss is for the third time. And the caution is out. The caution flag waves. I'll be darned. He gathered it up and kept going, but they do throw the caution. That'll erase Skinner's lead. Marty Reed. One good. Everybody else is getting in one a little better than us, and that's, that's evidently it must be a little loose right there because all it takes is just a bump. He didn't hit you hard enough then. It should have shouldn't have spun out. I'm loose now in the back straight away. We loosen it up now. Okay, we're in the back of the field. Let's take the three pounds, or the two pounds that we went up on the right rear, take it back out. You want me to come around one more time? Can I pass the cars? You cannot pass the cars. Just wait till you get caught up real good. Wait till they get bunched up and come on in. Can you pass any cars coming in? No, you can't. You have to. Come on. Just... This is the replay. That's Bliss we're listening to. And that's the hit that they were talking about from Corelli. And they agreed that it wasn't enough of a hit to spin him around. The truck's too loose. Right All right, I think we're ready for you, Marty, with Keselowski. We want to get that radio traffic in. Marty Reed. Yes, and I'm sure Bob would understand, except he's a little disappointed because you were running in the top five. The only dodge in the race, you looked like you were going to have a good day, and all of a sudden... Yeah, sure did. It looked really good that first half. Uh, Toby Butler would help me off, you know. It, it really didn't matter, although I'd like to lead the race. You know, we're going to have a break at the halfway point. But, uh, you know, I really thought we were quicker than him. And uh, we went on second half real good, and I got a real bad break in traffic over there in third three and ended up back in fifth. But we started coming back forward. Everything was fine. It was running just like it was in the first half. And apparently the grease seal let go on the rear end, and we started smoking real bad. Grease was getting on the right rear tire. Really not much we can do with it by the time we can get a change. The race will probably be over. That kind of ended our day. Well, it's a bad break for Bob Keselowski. You heard Mike Bliss coming in and back out onto the racetrack, guys. Bliss just now exiting the pits off the uh, figure eight race course. He let the field all get bunched up for the instructions you heard from the crew, and he'll rejoin on the tail end of the lead lap. There we see the leader of the race, Mike Skinner, the Goodrich truck. And I got to give a lot of credit to Mike Skinner, Rich Burgess, the crew chief, and Will Lynn, the general manager of this truck. They have done a super job, as has Dale Earnhardt's crew with Hornaday and, and Doug Richard. Each of these teams have won three races this year, only seven. They've won three each, and Kenny Schrader won the, the seventh race. Take a look at this uh, spin. I think this will be the, is this the one that turned Bliss around? Yes, it's Corelli yeah, in the six the truck. Push from six. Just a little spin, a uh, touch, and around he goes. Butch Miller dodged it and moved on through, so and a little setback for Bliss, but uh, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. He's uh, may still, maybe still not considered a potential winner of the race. Let's note that the Jack Sprague is up to seven, and he was 14th at the break, so that man is on the move. He started the, 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 he has the significance of having been involved in the first crash of the night. There have been a lot of since. That's right. He started on the pole, as a matter of fact, the 31 truck. That uh, somebody is losing a bumper out there. I think it's Sedgwick who is uh, trailing a piece on the racetrack, and I'm not sure whether we'll have to do something about that or if we'll go ahead and go green and just figure, well, they'll be yellow in a couple of laps anyway. Skinner is your leader, Jones is second, Rutman third, Toby Butler. Look at Portengay. He has uh, held his own here and managed to stay out of trouble in the last couple of uh, green flag seconds. It is up to fifth. 
We go green and restart it. Familiar last three out front. Field decimated by the attrition here. Boy, Skinner got a great restart. Look how he pulled away from BJ. Hard today still in there. Scrambling to try to get a lap back. Rutman third, Butler fourth around the outside. Never see seven, eight, and nine. 31 is Sprague, six Corelli, and Sedgwick in ninth, the 75 truck. And that's Porting Gay, the 83, right in front of them. Well, I guess that's six, seven, eight, and nine, huh? Seven, eight, and nine, yeah. You're, uh, the fifth place guy there. Oh, some contact. Coach Glamble brushed the wall as he exited one of these corners. I started to say two, but I'm not sure. It might have been four or five. <laughs> It looks like they're running in a great big circle. In reality, every corner on this race is a little different. What appear to be short shoots between them end up being parts of big corners because of the line that they race here. This is Rutman working on BJ for second, and as they do that, Skinner is just all of the mail out front. Skinner's going to have that truck the best when it matters most, and that is at the end of the reminiscent series opener. He came from deep in the back to win it over the body in a wild last lap effort. They had that truck perfect on the last lap. That's what you want to good. It's nice to have it good for the first lap. It's critical to have it good for the last lap. Joe Rubin, right now, that red number 84 is very, very good as he drives the chain. Look, you hear there's block. Three of red. Bliss. Bliss got a wheel down on the grass on the inside. He was battling with uh, Miller and, I believe, Breback the lap car. I thought Breback was out of the race. He had made a pit stop earlier, but they repaired the truck, and he's back. Again, the importance of collecting points. This is uh, kind of typical of what we see out of this Childress RCR operation to see uh, Skinner get all beat up early, come back, fix the truck, and end up the race. I tell you what, right now, Joe Rutman, the red 84, just might have the best truck. That's P.J. Jones, the red and white number one, the Sears Diehard truck. It looks like he might be holding up Joe Rutman just a tick. So the question for Rutman is how long do I wait before I take a chance to move him out of the way? I don't want Skinner to get away. A position pass by Corelli as he goes up on the outside of Porton Jay. And is he going to complete that pass? Yeah, he's got the fender out in front. And the high plane drifter Rip Corelli will pick up a position and move inside the top five. Remember, that's from 17th starting spot with a couple of wild incidents along the way. Not least of which was the collision with Hornaday that will probably uh, well add another dimension to the ongoing love affair between those two guys as Pirelli had the lead here is an example of close quarter action. That's, That's from the Hornaday. But John Hornaday. Papa John's pizza truck as Bliss goes by. We're going to take a quick break, come back with more. It's the Ford Credit 200. David Payne, Betty Parsons, Marty Reed, live from Louisville with 50 laps to go.